Hey everyone, Carl Mikitsune here, back with a brand new video, and today's video is an unboxing video where not only did yesterday with the Ruby Volume 5 soundtrack coming out, which I immediately had gotten my favorite songs for, but I got two packages today. I know that one of them is something and the other one is also something. Um, and probably by the title of how this, what this video is going to be, um, I think this one might be what I'm trying to unbox. I don't know. I'm probably just going to do two separate videos and uh, go off of that. Because I don't know what's in either of these by telling them what the packaging looks like. So I'm going to do two videos, one after another. And let's let's uh, open up this one and see what we get. I'm supposed to open this one up. for some reason. Ah. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is what I thought it was. Okay. So, what's in this one? Oh, that, oh my god, I thought it would be bigger. Huh. Anyway, here's Hell Salamander. 12 OP in for operate and wow no wonder I couldn't tell because based off of the bloody launchness box which came with a little launcher this is actually kind of small it's like the same size packaging as when um Emperor Ford and Fortius because I'm assuming that the other ones came with some sort of proto launcher or something like that when they got released which is probably why <laughs> but here's 12 um Hell Salamander which means I finally almost have all left spin bay dragon base for Beyblade Burst. I still need to get Drain Fast in your stock combo in the original one because I have the attack type version. Nice. We got the operator driver. Got the stats and stuff here on the back. Okay, well, I'll just see packing because I just love the packing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so glad about this. And I can now, I still don't know what's in the other one, I can guess, but I don't fully know. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Repeat the packaging so good. So I need to get a new uh, launcher. Alright, got the uh, stickers. Got the code thing. Give me the stick. No! Okay, I'm saving the packaging, so I don't really need to get that out now. Ugh, um, there we go. I always gotta admire the packaging for this stuff. I don't know, my tripod. Anyway, let's put that in the back. Adjust the camera. And let's get this stuff open. And I also looked at the uh, sort of updated ban list for Beyblade and saw that the 12 disc needs to always have a frame on it, probably due to its sharpness and stuff, so it always has to have a frame, because that, that explains why I see when some people started battling, uh, winning Valkyrie after a while, why like they would always put Vortex on it, even though it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't have that in anime, and I'll see that's because it's part of the ban list, sort of, it, it needs to have some sort of frame on it, so everyone puts Vortex, because that's a really good thing to go with Valkyrie, okay, the layer, nice, kind of see why now. I can see it now. But I know this. And that's this. And the driver. Whoa. All 
And here we go. So you've got the Hell Salamander frame, and it's a balance type. Because pull this tab here, and you can pull it out. Then you can slide these in. Yeah, how do you do it? Oh, sure. Oh, it just clicks. Okay. So it just clicks in. You've got five blade mode, which is used for its attack mode. And then you've got the ten blade mode. You get it. You got ten blades, which is used for defense. And you can switch between the two and use whichever one you want. And then you just click that part in. Slot in. Got 12, as we've seen with Winning Valkyrie, which is a nice disc. It's pretty nice. Good for attacking, and it's pretty sharp around here, which is why they require you to have a frame on it. And then you've got the Operate Driver, which is a new balance type, which is which is like Quake for Beyblade Metal Fight and stuff, but not like Quake the Driver that they made. Seeing as how on here it has defense and attack. Right now it's in defense mode. But if you want to put it in attack, you was it lit? You can't put these down either. You have to move it over to attack mode and then pull those down. It makes the ball more exposed. So it has a better sort of quake around the stadium and stuff and more like that. You can always pull these down. If I can. I just got this way, I don't want to mess it up. You also can't switch it while it's in, like that. Oh my god, I'm already, already having troubles with, the, with this bait, and I just got it. Is it even... Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, that's how it goes. It's also less spin, so, you know... Okay, let's see. Let's look at some teeth. Whoa, those are nice. Those are nice, pretty teeth right there. Those pearly blacks. Eh, not bad. It's uh, looser than uh, Longinus. I'll give it that. Let's uh, do some test battles. Okay, there we go. I finally got it to click and put in defense mode now. Okay, so let's do some test spins and battles and stuff with it, and we'll see how those go. Okay, let's switch this. I would normally use my ripcord launcher, but that's broken. So I have to order a new one, like I said earlier. We're going full defense mode. Oh, yeah. Ugh, why? I just got you. A little wobbly, but not bad. Oof, that movement, though. Well. It is a full defense one, right? That yeah, wasn't all the way in defense, it was like halfway attack. So let's do attack mode. Pull them up. Switch to five blade. Okay, this is full attack mode, the quake mode. Gotta get that really good tilt in order to have it move around. Ooh. Them are some nice bounces. It's also got no one to battle from the like that. Dang. Oh, it does have. So it sort of has some stamina, but just not like a whole bunch of stamina like that. It would probably also bounce a whole lot more if I could angle it better, have my ripcord launcher so I can launch more powerful, along with having an opponent. I'm not going to have... Actually, I'll do one test battle right now. Let's do one test battle, and I'll put it in this attack mode against it. the defensive left spin Ark of Ahamut. Let's see how it goes. One click on Arc Bahamut 
zero on Salamander. But it is not a bad Beyblade. You can see that this attack mode does have a little stamina from all the bouncing around, but when it centers itself, it's just going to move all around with some crazy movements and stuff like that that they use in the anime. And it's actually pretty nice. It probably it does what Quake did with Metal Fight, but because it's forward around here, it'll have like just a bit more stamina than like a slanted flat. That's slash. So it's not a bad Beyblade. It's actually really nice. Anyway, there you go, guys. That was my unboxing of Hell Salamander 12 OP setting for Operate. I put the stickers on and stuff. I didn't want to do like a Denny Hill speed up while I did the stickers. That would have taken too long. Anyway, hope good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and comment section below, and I'll see you guys. See you guys. See you guys later. Peace out. Watch the vlogs and do whatever you have to to hit the like and subscribe button to show your support for the channel, especially if you're new. Peace out.